Ladies and gentlemen, let's get ready for chicken! And the woo. Hot Chicken Takeover serves Nashville-style hot chicken. We started as a pop-up in a living room. This year alone, we have two new restaurant launches. I was up in um, Clintonville this morning, so it turns out it is going to be a real restaurant that we actually have to open. We're building a business that's growing rapidly, and so we hire high character, high hustle, like just high capacity people. Hello, I can help who's next? The majority of our team members, probably 60 to 70 percent, have been affected by a criminal record or incarceration in their past. I just feel super proud to be one of the people that takes a chance to help somebody. You know, the fact that I know a lot of the people um, that I work with have been through the same thing as I have. And knowing that we're one of the employers that are changing people's lives is a big deal to me because it changed my life. Is, is that, is this legit? I've been addicted to drugs and alcohol since I was about 15. I didn't understand the disease of addiction or, um, you know, I didn't understand why I couldn't quit. Because it's almost like it is, it is a powerlessness. So I went from, you know, smoking pot in high school to a heroin addict right before I, I was um, arrested. Um, you already so, know. I was going to put it on your end of day to just let me know what you want. And, then I'll get, like, and I went to prison for um, almost four years. So uh, I was married at the time, left behind a five-year-old son. You know, and that's why I was going to do whatever it took to change, to try to better myself. That's what I did the whole time I was in there. All right, can I get you anything else today? I came to Hot Chicken almost a year ago. I was nervous, you know, not sure how to answer those questions about my incarceration, but they were very nice. Just take your time, be honest, and tell us what happened. How's the business? Oh man, business is good. We're learning. Yeah. I was like 19, 20 years old, high school dropout. Me and a few, few of my co-defendants <laughs> decided that we were going to become robbers. I look back and like, I'm really not proud of that person. Tyler B. Enjoy. Fair Chance Employment is not a warm, fuzzy charitable strategy, but a business strategy. The thing we get out of our candidate pool is a willingness and eagerness to grow and develop and be given a shot. I would have taken a job anywhere and I got the door slammed in my face, which made me feel like, um, you know, you know, about this big. But I came here and he's like, I'm gonna give you a chance. It just makes you grateful. I'm gonna bust my butt and do what I can. You know, first of all, cause I'm gonna keep my job, but I've become loyal to that employer because they gave me the chance. We work hard because we have to prove ourselves two times, if not three times, as that young man or young lady who hasn't been incarcerated. You come in every day, you're not late. You don't have excuses. We want to work, and they gave us opportunity. One in three adult Americans right now have some form of a criminal record. This isn't a small subsect of our community. This is America. I can't reiterate enough that a person's criminal record is not indicative of a person's character. If an employer is able to suspend judgment, focus on a candidate's future, not their past, they will see results that are pretty tremendous. I would tell an employer that you paid taxes for that individual to be incarcerated. So what do you want on your rate of return? You're getting a person that not only needs a job, but wants a job. So don't be afraid to give this person an opportunity. I call it a hope shot, meaning that someone is out here telling you that you can make it.